Hello guys, welcome back. We're continuing the series of building property management real estate or venue management actually system. Similar to that one higher space, I will remind you, this is the third video in the series. So we're building venue management, venue booking system uh, on the basis of real estate uh, theme, bootstrap theme. So far we've gone and created our home page, uh, home blade and home controller. So we're hard coding the hero images and the featured venues. And in this lesson, in this part, we will go through all the other parts of home page and we will create the sections for them. So it will be search. Actually, let's get back to the original thing that we're building. We need search, which in the bootstrap theme looks like this one. So search block. Then we need to uh, list the categories for venues, venue types, we'll call it. And for that, we will use these icons, we will rearrange some of the parts. Uh, then we will have trending venues uh, or just list of venues or latest venues. And for that, we will use this one. So new properties. Uh, and finally, we will have discover spaces in which are cities or locations. And for that, we will also use another stuff. So instead of our agents, we will have locations with uh, photos of those locations. And then there's some footer, some register to the event, uh, and some text, which we don't really actually need for this project. So in terms of Laravel and database management stuff, we need those four sections. So search, venue types, uh, newest venues, and locations. And let's go one by one. Uh, so we have that trending stuff. Next is the search. Uh, search in front blade, which we've copied from the theme, it looks like this one. So just hard-coded values and not everything is needed, but let's copy that from, from the front blade, that part, to, uh, yeah, so we need to copy and paste this one into actually front, uh, into home blade. So front blade will be like the, uh, the overall front uh, theme, like uh, parent blade and in home blade we will actually have those um, those home parts home page and later actually in later videos we will rearrange so home blade will have includes on all those partials but for now let's take it all to home blade for now we have only slider for featured menus and here we have uh, search now what sections do we need for the search uh, in the original theme it's event type which is a drop down it's a fancy drop down, we will make it as a regular drop down. Now, people from and to, so amount of people, actually, it won't be from and to, it will be in just drop down number, and then location, and then search spaces. So, we need only three, uh, three things uh, on top of this one. So, instead of this one, uh, so we need a drop down, we will call it select offer types. So, select uh, location, no, venue type actually, venue type, uh, ID venue type, let's put it this way, and the options will be all the venue types, and we will fill it later for each venue type, sorry, for each venue types as venue type, we'll have option of value venue type ID and venue type name. We have that already in the database and we probably will need a seed for that. So option for each, okay. So for each venue type, uh, later we would need drop down, but not a drop down, it should be a number field. So I input, input type number. A number would be people, basically amount of people, people amount. Let's call it people amount. Let's see how it would look for us. Uh, people amount, class form control, and that's it. I'm not sure if we need drop down here, but we'll see how it looks. And the third one is also select. So instead of venue type, we will have locations. Select name locations or location. Actually, it will be one location. Location. And actually, the first one should be location. 
uh, as a default so people would understand what that is so we will probably add the same one to the first drop down then you type then you type and location and for each locations as location and location ID and location name location ID location name uh, and that's it we need the search just the search so we delete all of those up to actually text amount that could be useful let's comment it for now and submit the search and for that we need of course locations and menu types and we do have those in the database uh, venue types equal venue type then use type wait what was the event type sorry it's not venue type it's event type so event type so event types all and then locations are location all right so featured venues event types and locations locations come from controller and let's rename the venue types to event types also here event type event type and event type also here and here event type event type right so we got it here and i think that's it let's refresh the page and let's see what the search look like right we have an error identify offset right that's the beauty of doing live coding let's take a look at the uh, at the php storm directive is not closed of course yeah sorry typo and for each should be and for each not just for each uh, right let's refresh the page again yeah we have something now so event type is I've added something to the database now already so locations and event types uh, that is working and number of people is one or two or three actually let's put the placeholder here class placeholder people amount let's see if it's shown people amount yep so that drop down wouldn't work and let's put a default value of something like uh, value 10 people Ten people. Uh, now then, that that deletes the the people amount. So let's just keep it simple. Uh, and we shouldn't probably have arrow drop down. So people amount is one or more. Uh, actually, min should be. I think min is one. I think that's the HTML. So you cannot go lower than one. Yep. And that's it. Uh, right, so we have these, and the search should lead to the result, which we will implement later. But for now, we have search section uh, already in place. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is the list of uh, venue types. And for that, we will copy another section from a little down below from the original theme, which is our services. So let's copy that from the front blade. Our services should be a little below here. So we copy it, side section, all the side section up to home blade under the search, right? We copy it here. Actually, let's just refresh and see if it works, how does it look? So search and then our services. Uh, we don't need those property locations here. Our services, so this one. We don't need these three. And we refresh. So our services, instead of our services, there will be, actually thinking about it, let's copy the whole thing 
inside of it. So this into this one, I think. Not even sure where is the div ending, but it should be, yeah, great, our services. Let's, instead of those three property locations, so instead of that row, we will have our services under the search. Great, so our services, so instead of our services, there will be a text inspiring venue for, inspiring venue for, dot 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 and here we will have the uh, venue types or event types we actually we have all of those so we do for each event types as event type again event type the same event types that we have for the search uh, and for each this time without error and then we just call the event type title event type title uh, icon let's leave it the same one and let's delete all the others so it will be one for each find our services inspire venue for it's not title it's name it's name for that venue type and if we add more of those in the database for now manually uh, something like that Later we will create the seeds, so AAA and BBB, so inspiring venues for, and later when we build the pages for actual categories, uh, we will link that to the actual list of the pages, list of the venues. So we've done that part. The next part is the trending venues, which is like the newest venues. And for that we have, uh, sorry, close that one. In the front blade we have property details, so this block, new properties for you. Side section VG light, which is with background, I think. So we copy all of that into home blade into here. Uh, actually not copy, but cut. Uh, let's refresh the page and see what we have here. It should not change actually, new properties for you. It's just inside of the other section now. So new properties, instead of new properties, we will rename that to new venues. New venues, venues, or venues. Uh, and again, we do for each here. So for each venues, we don't have venues yet, or latest, new, newest venues. Venues as venue. Uh, and newest venues will be newest venues will be venue latest get latest is ordered by created at descending I think it's the syntax we will test it so newest venues it will be empty for now uh, but we'll see let's leave everything here hard coded for now and for each and then we fill it in with details and we don't need pagination here for now. Pagination, we will add that to the actual result page, listing by category or by uh, location. And for now, latest, uh, I think it's uh, get, what is the take? So take six and then get. So this is the syntax and let's add something to venue for now hard code uh, name slash address everything is nullable is featured now location id one so we should have something let's refresh new properties yay we have one property exactly what we needed and now let's fill it in with actual data or Actually, let's leave that to the end because uh, we will work a lot with the venue details and we will fill it in with actual details a little later. Uh, final thing on our home page, uh, we need to add uh, the discover spaces in, which is location. And for locations, we will use our agents section. So on front blade, we will delete, delete, what is that, our agents. 
So this part is not needed. Our blog, we won't have a blog in this project. So blog is not needed and our agents will be copied from here into, into our home blade like this one. And we will delete from the front. We don't need that just for you section. And footer, let's leave the footer as it is. Let's refresh our page. And let's see if our blog is gone now. So yeah, new venues and our agents. Instead of our agents, it will be locations. Uh, or what was the text in the original discover spaces in. So discover spaces in. And here we have locations. Uh, right slide item, it's a slider. So for each locations, we have them from the same loop uh, for the search. So slide item and for each and for each would we'll delete all the others, other slide items. So there may be more slider items. So for now we'll have one I think. Uh, let's just test it if we have anything here. Refresh the page. It should be location and one discover spaces in. Uh, for each location, slide item, for some reason it's three, three spaces. Maybe it's uh, the smallest amount of potentially possible spaces or event types or locations. Let's add more locations here. Uh, something, sorry, hard coding stuff now. And for three locations, what do we have here actually? Uh, let's change the Megan Smith to location name location name and see what we have here yeah we have three different locations with their photos which we will add a little later uh, and it's already sliding trying to slide but it's sliding to a different to the same three parts so yeah we have already pagination so it works by default and these sections will be filled in with more data as we go through that. So for this lesson, it's pretty much enough. Uh, we will clean up all of those uh, a little later, probably in the next lesson, actually, I'll do the cleanup, uh, at least for something. But here we have home page now. We have featured venues, we have search, we have uh, inspiring venues for categories, we have new venues, and we have uh, discover spacious spaces for locations. In the next lesson probably we will do some cleanup. And for that cleanup we will need database seeds for actually fake properties, fake venues, fake locations and fake uh, venue types, event types. So stay tuned for the seeders and uh, cleanup of the homepage.